instead of allowing two visitors per patient starting today, Integris is only allowing one visitor with a few exceptions. Those exceptions are for patients in COVID-19 isolation. They'll be allowed visitation only at end of life. There are also exceptions for pediatrics and NICU. They'll be allowed two patient representatives. So for instance, two parents can be with them. This revised visitation policy coming down from Integris Health. The hospital says rising COVID numbers and scarce availability are the two factors contributing to this decision. Integra says the visitor can be someone who the patient seeks emotional support from and decision making advice. Visitors can't be showing any signs of illness and must wash their hands and wear a mask. Back in April, Governor Stitt approved House Bill 2566 aimed at ensuring long term care facilities having a visitation plan for future emergencies. Senator Greg McCourtney, the author of House Bill 2566, says the old no visitor policies during the COVID-19 pandemic took a toll on mental and emotional health of residents and family members. Integris, the Metro's first hospital to roll back a visitation policy since the bill was approved. In Oklahoma City, Christine Stanwood, KOCO 5 News.